All right, I'm here with uh, Bill uh, of the Meteoron uh, project. We've got Eurobot uh, behind me, and uh, if everything goes according to plan, I'll be lucky enough to control Eurobot from space. Yes. And yes. Uh, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about the project. Uh, the project is called Metron, which is putting a, a, a network in place uh, to enable Europe in the future to explore the Moon and Mars and other planetary surfaces using a kind of a standardized system. So we're putting everything in place so that we can work with NASA and with Russia. With, with their robotic assets can come along and plug into this network and, and that will be in place to enable us to look at different operational scenarios to explore planetary surfaces with humans and robotics in partnership together. All right, and I see we have a, a mock-up of a lunar lander over here. So the first step would be to have astronauts and robots interacting together to deploy a, a lunar base, for example. That's right, and uh, this mock-up that we have here, it plays many different roles in, in the mission that you will be performing. It, it's performing the function of a lunar lander. So the typical operations like uh, opening a panel, for example, extracting a payload, and then deploying a payload, that kind of thing uh, can be is being performed by you, extracting a box and those kind of operations. So there are typical operations of unloading a lander that would be on a planetary surface. So which could be conducted by, by robots. Which could be conducted completely autonomously by robots, of course, but also uh, in a supervisory role, which, which your experiment will focus on, uh, is having the crew monitor what the rover is doing. Excellent. Well, this is going to be another uh, really interesting experiment that I get to perform from the ISS in September. I'm really looking forward to it. So what a great day at uh, STEC. I got a chance to uh, visit the uh, Telerobotics Laboratory where um, Andre and his team are working with uh, haptics, that's force feedback technology, uh, and integrating that into uh, an exoskeleton that hopefully one day we'll be able to use uh, on board the space station uh, to control uh, robots uh, either on Earth or uh, maybe on Mars. And of course, the potential for this is, uh, is, is, is really promising. Uh, for example, one day in the future, we might have the uh, situation where doctors in Europe or, uh, or the US are conducting uh, remote surgery on patients located in other countries. So uh, a, a really big potential for the, the haptics uh, force feedback technology that I'll get a chance to uh, work with the, on board the space station in September. Uh, and then uh, later I got a chance to meet uh, the Meteoron team. Um, Bill and uh, the rest of his team working with Eurobot. Again, that's a, a, a big rover um, that I'll get the chance to uh, control from the space station. Uh, the idea here, of course, is that uh, humans and robots will be working together in the future. Uh, for example, during the deployment of a lunar base. So again, a lot of potential for enabling uh, exploration of Moon, uh, Mars, and, and asteroids one day. So uh, a very, very interesting day. Uh, lots of information for me. Uh, yeah, to prepare me for my uh, upcoming mission in September. So yeah, had a, had a lot of fun. Hope you guys thought it was interesting too.